a postal worker and labor activist that believes in a strong social contract and strong public services for the public. I am currently president of our union's local and an alternate union representative for our regional office. I also have extensive education in workers' compensation and train advocates across Ontario. I also hold the position of vice president on the Apollo Gymnastics Club board, as well as holding a position on their human resources committee. This is my second time running for political office, the first time being a councillor for the Nipissing Township. As a member of the Canadian Union of Postal Workers, we have always fought to maintain a strong public post office, which has been under attack of privatization and deregulation at least since the Mulroney area, era. As a matter of fact, the Harper government succeeded in partially deregulating the post office by deregulating international mail, by hiding this provision in the last federal budget. This will have a definite financial impact on our public post office. This cowardly action was taken when three individual bills failed to pass for various reasons. As a single mother of two daughters, one of them in their first year of university, I am finding it more difficult financially with the increased cost of hydro, gas, and food. As with most Canadians who are living paycheck to paycheck, there is little or no money left at the end of the month to put away for retirement. My reason for running as a candidate for the NDP is simple. First, it has become very apparent to me that the Liberal and Conservative parties do not represent the workers and their families in this country. Workers such as myself and the majority population of, Can of Canada. The Conservatives rush to cut taxes for corporations and Harper's rich friends. This must cease and our social safety net must be safety net must be addressed. The shortage of physicians across the country is of grave concern as health care spending is scaled back. The Conservatives have failed to prevent further poverty of children and families. They are also silent on early childhood education and care, post-secondary education, and affordable housing. The small proposed increase to the guaranteed income supplement for seniors is only about one-third of what is needed to bring single seniors who are mostly women out of poverty. Canadians deserve a transparent government and to be better represented in Parliament by their peers as opposed to business and moneyed classes. The vast majority of Canadians are wage earners and need to be represented by Canadians who know what their needs are and put them first before tax cuts for the rich. The recent events in the Middle East and Wisconsin are telling. The Middle Eastern uprisings show that people are fed up with and want better working and living conditions. And what is happening in Wisconsin is the working class are fighting to maintain wages and benefits in the face of especially cruel, an especially cruel right-winged agenda. An agenda that could easily move north of the border given the attitudes of the Conservative government. These should be concerns for all Canadians and are reasons why I have decided to run for the NDP and give a voice to working families in the Nipissing to Miskaming riding. Ottawa is broken. Only with Jack Layton and the new Democratic team, together we can fix it.